building cars involves taking a lot of parts to put them all together and have them all work right. And every once in a while you come across a company that makes pretty much everything you need surrounding your engine. And we're talking about Proform parts. Lou Lobsinger here is going to give us a little bit of an insight on what Proform is all about. Thanks. Yeah, actually, Specialty Auto Parts is the parent company. It's a family of uh, two brands, GM Performance Parts, licensed products, and the Proform brand of uh, products, which would include Proform, the Perfect Launch brand, and uh, the Proform Tools brand, which is a big market for us. So, in a brief categorization, I mean, I, I tried to kind of compartmentalize the whole yeah. product line. You guys make a lot of stuff that bolts on, under, in, around yeah, engine. It, it really is your complete performance department. Um, I mean, everything from uh, engine dress up to uh, ignition to uh, valve train, you know, rocker arms, push rods. We really do do it all uh, under the uh, specialty auto brands. I think we're going to take a look at some of the specific parts you guys have here on display at SEMA. Proform brought out a whole new line of performance valve covers. Richard, why don't you give me the tour and see what you got. At this show, we're introducing 10 different GM performance parts valve covers. We have valve covers with raised emblems, such as you see here, and we have valve covers with recessed emblems, such as you see here. What makes these valve covers distinct is that they are die cast as opposed to sand cast. Die cast gives you the uh, low cost that you get from high volume production mm -hmm. and sand casting requires a single casting and you do not have the economies of scale that you have with die casting. Now if you will look here carefully you will see that this is a recessed flange. Mm -hmm. The significance of this recessed flange is that it gives you much more internal clearance on sure. this side so you can put a large valve train in. Mm -hmm. Mostly uh, die cast valve covers cannot have undercuts because of the way this is tooled, you can have an undercut and at the same time have the clearance that you need for a large valve train setup. I also noticed that they have clearance vertically. Yes, these are these are tall valve covers and they're these are designed uh, to really uh, accomplish almost every possible racing valve train. In fact, actually, if you look very, very closely at this valve cover, you'll see that there's a little bit of machining that's taken place here and here, mm -hmm. and this is to enable us to accomplish uh, what we need for the last 5% of the valve covers that possibly could have a clearance problem. And then it's also an angled top, which is to help it fit under the hood. Oh, yes. The external clearance is very important, uh, depending on the type of an engine setup that somebody has. So, kind of proving that valve covers aren't just valve covers, there's a lot of thought that went into this. Yes, and in this case, this line, we kind of view the way women would view uh, their dresses. You don't have one valve cover for the season here. We have ten different valve covers. We have all of these different looks so that you can actually personalize the vehicle the way you want it for your vehicle, and it won't look like everybody else's. And tell me about the different color and texture options. Well, obviously you have the painted ones, and they're available in black and in orange, and we have one that's not shown that's also in high-tech gray. Then we do a polished version, uh, such as uh, this one down here. This particular one has uh, no logo for those hot rodders who would like to have no logo, but it's polished. And then, of course, we also do them in uh, chrome-plated. The painted ones would be the least costly, the uh, polished ones would be next, and the chrome-plated ones would be the most expensive. And is this, um, as we see these today, I see the GM Performance Parts logo, which is important. These are the actual GM Performance Parts official yes, products. Yes, uh, we make a large amount of products for General Motors, uh, many of which go on to the General Motors crate engines as they come from the factory. And if you go to the General Motors website or you look in the GM Performance Parts catalog, uh, you will see all of these parts listed there starting in 2009. Which tells you that they're going to fit. They better. <laughs> In addition to the cool line of new valve covers, uh, Proform is known for carburetors and carburation parts. Booth, why don't you tell me what we're looking at? All right, well, let me show you right away the carburetor main body. Mm -hmm. The main body is what started Proform in the carburetor business. And we started by taking the main body and making our own, and so you could replace it with the existing carburetor that you already had. Okay. This is the main body the other guy makes, and this is the main body that's been on the market forever. Mm -hmm. Well. This main body really nowadays makes a better door stop than a carburetor. And here's the reason why. 
Ernie main body is made out of lightweight aluminum. Mm -hmm. This is made out of zinc. There's a two pound difference between this and this. Really? This won't even hold oh, it yeah, up. Definitely. Now, it's not just that. This is fairly crude. This surface, the ceiling surface here, fairly crude. It's bumpy. Ours already milled, ready to go. So right there, you're looking at some obvious differences. Let me show you a little bit about our carburetor, which actually incorporates this nice lightweight aluminum main body. Here he goes, our number one seller, the 750 CM Race Series carburetor. Mm -hmm. This carburetor includes this, di this lightweight aluminum main body, mm -hmm. which is great for dissipating heat, better than zinc. Oh, also, yeah, right, right. yep, billet metering blocks, mm -hmm. billet base plate, Mm -hmm. Die cast fuel bowls with sight glass windows. I see that. All these features. This is our base model. We don't give you this all this die cast junk and everything that's going to warp and all this <laughs> other BS. This thing right here, out of the box, bolted on, ready to go, full of features, five or six hundred bucks less than the competition's equivalent product. Interesting. You can't beat it. This is the best value out there. It works great. You can ask anybody. It's a sweet product. Very cool. So, Booth, you got impressive features in your base model you keep referring to. Uh, where do you go from there? What other carburetors are in the line? Well, the line is actually quite broad. We have two different lines of carburetors. We have the popular race series, which comes with purple anodized products, and that's what it's rec how it's recognized. Mm -hmm. And this group of carburetors also comes in 650 to 1050 applications, CFMs. Okay. Um, and we also have some vacuum, vacuum secondary models in this line also. And just as of right now, here at the SEMA show, we are releasing our new 750 Circle Track ah. race series carburetor, which also has the purple features, but has special race uh, Circle Track modifications like wedge-shaped fuel bowls. And, and exactly, so when you fly around the track, the gas doesn't all end up on one side. Cool. Now, in addition to that, we have our popular Street Series. And just like all the rest of our carburetors, it's full of all the same great value. You got the billet everything, die cast this, that, aluminum main body. It's an electric choke. Yep, you got the electric choke. And this comes in 600, 650, all the way up to 850, and also has uh, vacuum secondary models too. So that's the street series right there. And many of our components, such as the base plates, the metering blocks, the fuel bowls, those are all available separately too, where you to just start tinkering with your existing carburetor and start modifying it that way from the ground up. So as you can gather, the guys at Proform get pretty wound up about all their new parts, and uh, Booth here has a, a pretty cool little gizmo sitting on the bench. Tell me about the Perfect Launch. The Perfect Launch is a small, handheld practice tree that helps you improve your reaction time which is great for a couple things. One, it's great if you're actually practicing for the track, Right. but it's also great for the armchair racer on Sundays, sitting around with the family, a little light competition if you don't, aren't sure. gonna take it out to the track. It's wonderful, small, it includes the trigger, which most people's don't, and it works. How does it work, show it to me. All right, well, basically you turn it on, and in this case, it's already on. The pre-stage light is there. It has a lot, load of features. We have, you can adjust the modes, the different trees, whether you want to do full 400, full 500, pro 400, pro 500. Nice. It has rollback features, bump time, delay box. Oh, cool. And this is how it works. So you get the pre-stage light on, and you hold the trigger down. It's like a trans brake. Oh, hey, that's what happens when you get <laughs> hey, greedy. <red> <laughs> So where can somebody learn more about the Proform line? Proformparts.com. Our website has everything you need to know about our product line. Perfect Launch is located right on the homepage. You can go there, you can find a dealer, learn about the product, get the instructions, get you all dialed in. Excellent. It's a great pr product for under the tree at Christmas. A tree under the tree. Yeah, there you I'm go. Sorry. <laughs>